Hi everyone, this is Cole Chance, Yoga TX, and in the house today I have the beautiful Miss Jen Hillman. And we're going to do a special video for you today. So we're going to both be doing different levels, so wherever you're at today, you'll be able to find something that resonates. Jen's going to be showing a modified version, so follow along with her if you're feeling a little low energy or you're still needing to use some of the modifications. You'll still get all the benefits of all the poses. And I'll be doing the more classical form of it. And we'll go ahead and just get going. So follow along with either one of us. And we're going to begin at the top of our mat. We'll just go ahead and get right in it. So this will be a flow. We'll go slow and just kind of start to wake everything up and open our bodies up, get ready for the day. So go ahead and stand in mountain pose. Find the four edges of your feet, every corner, and kind of rock back and forth. Feel stability and groundedness. Palms towards the front. Roll your shoulders back. A big exaggeration. Shoulder blades onto your back. Meet at the top and exhale, hands together and come down. You can have your knees bent here, especially it's early. You can have a micro bend or you can take a big bend and let your belly go ahead and rest on your thighs. So wherever you need today, just go ahead and sway back and forth, bend in one knee and the other. Go ahead and inhale and halfway lift. You can leave your hands on the ground, you can have your hands on your shins, but roll your shoulder blades back and your hips to the sky. And exhale, fold. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift up and out. And then exhale, plant your hands. Take a big step back into plank pose. Really pressing the ground away with your hands, chest pulling through your shoulders, belly in, feet pressing back towards the back wall as if you were standing in that mountain pose again. Now from here we're going to come down into Chaturanga, so you have two options, but we'll both shift forward. Keep your elbows in by your sides and come down halfway, flip your toes and come into up dog or cobra. So chest pulling through, shoulders back, belly in, and more inhale, pushing the ground away, and exhale to down. First down dog here. Lost my mic. Push the ground away, and let's everybody take a deep bend in your knees. Press your belly towards your thighs. Hips up to the sky. Push a little bit farther through your hands. And then go ahead and start to straighten your knees. And they don't have to go straight, but they're going that direction. Same with your heels. They don't have to be touching the ground, but they're headed that way. Another inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and look up towards your hands. Take a big step up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, micro bend in your knees and come all the way up. And hands to heart center. And take that one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant your hands. A big step back into plank pose. So really strong here. Again, squeezing your elbows in. Shift forward and start to come down halfway or to the ground. And then come up into cobra. Or your upward dog. Belly in here. 
chest pulling through strong and proud and flip back into downward dog. Inhale, release. This is such a good full body pose here. Really opening up everything. And your next exhale, look up towards your hands. Big step up. And we'll halfway lift. Inhale and exhale, fold. I'll come all the way back up. And hands to heart center. Let's go, we'll take a half of a salutation here. So we'll inhale and lift. Exhale, fold. We'll go ahead and flow with the rhythm here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, and down dog, and stay. Notice how much more open you are every time you return back to this pose. So this is just a really good check-in place. And sometimes it might not be necessarily better every time, but just notice the difference. There's no good or bad. But this is just a good barometer. So let's lift our right leg. Keep your hips square so your sacrum is flat and your toes are pointed down. We're gonna bring our right foot up in between our hands so you can swing it through, you can pull it through, you can take several steps up to get it there. We're gonna come in to Anjane Asana, so either with your back knee down or up, we're gonna scissor our thighs together so you have a strong root and a strong center. We're gonna go ahead and lift up. So if you're standing, if you're, if you're up here, you can go ahead and bend your back knee a little bit to square your hips. And if you're down, wherever you are, try to bring your hips, you can put your hand on your hips if you'd like, but you really want these centered. I'm gonna pull your belly in, roll your shoulders back, and be strong. One more inhale. And exhale, let's bring our hands to heart center here. Start to shift forward, so we'll be leaning forward. And bring your elbow over to your right knee. Pull your right hip back into its socket so your femur bone is coming back. It's gonna help with your twist. Make, check in with your back leg if you're in the high lunge and let's get the heel coming up. So you can stay right here. You can bring your hands wide if you'd like. Wherever you are, take one more inhale. And exhale, we'll come back into center. Hands up. And we'll open up to warrior two. So if you're down on your knees, just push yourself up. We'll meet in warrior two. So here, let's really push through your front toe. We're really, and then we'll check in with our back foot. We're really connected with that back outer, outer edge of your foot. And your arch is up as well as if we're not, we're trying to keep a little gnome alive down there. Let's flip our palms over. Take a big sh shrug back with your shoulders. Exaggeration, like you're gonna pull your elbows together. Flip your hands back over and push out. Out and strong. One more breath in. Let's flip your front hand and we'll reverse back. One more inhale. Meet back in warrior two. Start to shift forward as if somebody had a string and was pulling you forward. You can't go forward anymore. You can drop your hand to your, your elbow to your knee. 
or you could bring your hand down to the floor, the outside of your leg. Really pull your right femur bone back into its socket. You want both of your shoulder blades connecting on the back. You don't want your arm, your top arm coming out too far. You're out of the socket, the shoulder. So you want, imagine your shoulder blades coming onto your back. And we're inhale. And exhale, frame your front foot. From here, we're gonna put our weight in our left hand. We're gonna come into side plank. So you can drop your left knee here, or you just start to shift the weight in your left hand. Bring your right leg back and open up. Wherever you are, see if you can lift your hips a little bit higher. Inhale. Exhale, back into plank. We'll shift forward, chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and meet in down dog. Nice. Get some energy moving in the morning. Best way to start. Another inhale. Release. One more inhale. Mm, let it out. So now left leg up. Strong, kicking towards the back wall. Flexed foot, sacrum flat, toes pointed down. And let's bring it through, however, whatever method you use to get it up there. It's all fair game. Scissor our thighs together. Whenever you feel stable and strong, go ahead and start to lift up. Make sure your hips are square. So it'll help to bring your left hip back. We tend to turn open, we want to turn, turn open with our hips. Wherever you are, let's take another inhale. And exhale. Another one inhale. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Start to shift forward and we'll twist to the left. So again on a twist here, let's pull back on that left hip to get a little bit deeper. You can open up your hands if you'd like. Take a deep inhale here, extra deep in the twist. And let it out and come back to center. And then drop your back heel, or bring your back knee up, and we'll meet in warrior two. So again here, check in with your alignment, really pushing away with our back outer edge of our foot, keeping that arch alive and well. Left hip coming back into the crease, knee tracking over our heel, and going over our front two toes. Shoulder blades on the back. Hands shooting out, inhale, flip front palm, and we'll slide down to reverse warrior. The big side body stretch, try to keep the bend in your front knee. We'll meet back in warrior two, one breath, and start to shift forward, and then come down into side angle. Pull your left hip in, your left femur bone. Shoulder blades onto the back. Make sure your bottom shoulder start to, start to rotate in. Kind of want to feel like you're twisting your chest open to the sky here. One more inhale. And exhale, frame your front foot. Start to put the weight in your left hand. I mean, sorry, your right hand. Either drop your knee or don't, but bring your left foot back. We'll take a side plank. Wherever you are, hips a little bit higher if you can. See if you can twist your chest open a little bit. Shine your heart towards the sky. And drop your left hand. We'll shift forward and come all the way down. Let's come all the way down. 
Let's clasp our hands behind our back here. We're gonna take an inhale and we're gonna lift our chest, but first let's roll our shoulder blades onto our back. Inhale, lift. Start to bring your fists towards your feet here. Don't crank your head up. We wanna keep the spine healthy. We don't wanna be cranking that back. If you'd like to lift your legs, you can lift your legs here as well. You can leave those down. Take another inhale. Exhale, drop your legs. Leave your chest up, but bring your hands beneath your shoulders. And go ahead and press up into Cobra. And release. Let's all push back into child's pose. So you can have your knees separated here. You can have them together. Just be a different stretch. Get more into the hips with your knees apart, more into the low back with your knees together. Pulls of breath. And your inhale shifts you forward. Tuck your toes and downward dog. And check in with your body and just see how you're feeling here now in comparison to the last couple times. Kind of wiggle around, take some organic movements. And then slowly with as many steps as you need, start to walk towards the top of your mat. Spread your feet wide. You can bend your knees here as deep as you'd like. Let's grab opposite elbows. You can bend deeply into one knee and sway into the other side and sway. And really getting a release here and some traction in your low back. And drop your hands and slowly let your whole upper body hang We'll just slowly start to roll up. So you can bend your knees here and we're slowly going to roll up. Let your arms hang, your head hang. Slowly start to stack vertebrae on top of the other until your head comes up last and your shoulders roll onto your back. So we're back in standing. And take a few standing poses here to get the balance going for the day. We'll take our feet together. So let's shift our weight in our right, in our right foot. So really again here, feel the four corners of your foot. This will be our, our root. So left foot is going to either come to your calf. You can even leave it down around your ankle. You can start to pull it up to your thigh here. Wherever you are, you don't want to let your hip come out. You kind of want to jut out. You want to keep straight. Keep that coming in strong. The same kind of feeling of like bringing your, compacting your hips together. And think about your knee doesn't need to be going straight out, but it needs to be going in that direction. So your hips are coming open here. So this is still kind of a hip opener. And bring your hands to heart center. Here you have a million options. So really play around with your balance here. And it's fine if you fall. And always get right back into it. It's how you find your balance. You must lose it. So you can play around with your arm positions here. You can bring your arms up. Whatever you'd like to do. Now let's bring your, heel, your knee into the center here. Bring our hands on our knees. You can also grab your foot if you'd like and flex it towards you. Really bring that hip back into its socket. So take your hand on the outside of your foot or the outside of your knee and we'll take a little twist here. So open up and again to maximize the twist, pull your femur bone back just a little bit farther. Come back to center. Oh and come down with grace, or you just fall out of it. 
can go ahead and shift your hips back and forth here. And we'll take it on the other side. So, left foot, find your, find your home with your left foot here. Keep your left hip in. We don't want it coming out to the side. You really find your base and call on your core strength here. So we'll start to raise our right leg and find where you'd like, where that feels like home for your foot today. And play around with your hands where you'd like to move your arms. Definitely you can move your arms around, but don't move your gaze around. You wanna keep that, keep that steady. Go ahead and bring our knee to our chest. And you can come out straight. And go ahead and start to twist. So bringing that right femur back. Standing tall, maintaining the integrity of your posture. And we'll come back to center. And slowly bring your foot back down. And go ahead and shake it out on that side. And let's go ahead and separate again here. We'll take another forward fold. Let's put our hands on our hips and slowly with a flat back start to come down. And you can take a micro bend in your knees. And come all the way down. And let's grab our hands behind our back. Keep your elbows bent a little bit and start to bring the hands over your head. So we're keeping the elbows bent so we can really squeeze the shoulder blades onto your back. One more inhale. And exhale, go ahead and release your arms all the way to the ground. We'll sit down and roll down onto our backs. And just take a couple twists here. I'm gonna shake your hips out and get, get cozy. Well, let's bring our left ankle to our right thigh. And you can grab the back of your right thigh. You can grab in front of your right knee here. And just take a reclined pigeon today. So wherever you are, pull in. You can also push the left knee away if you'd like a little more intensity. So just find that juicy spot and breathe into it. Make these pigeon stretches your friend. Sometimes it takes a while to love it, but it's so good when you do. Some of the best things are hard to love at first. And let's drop your right foot. Go ahead and cross your left foot all the way over as if you were sitting cross-legged in a chair. Shift our hips to the left and let your knees fall to the right. So you can tee your arms. You can look to the left if you'd like, or you can just stay looking up. few deep breaths and this twist and wringing out the rest of the sleep and come back to center and we'll switch so right ankle over your left knee and then pull your left knee towards you and find the hand positioning so either behind your left thigh in front of your knee and you're wanting to rotate and take the right knee away from you. So you can play with that if you'd like to. It might be enough where you are. Just find your stretch. It'll be different for everyone.
And just breathe into the intensity with gratitude that you're here working on it and creating a relationship with your body. And drop your left leg and we'll cross over our right leg. Shift your hips to the left, to the right, and drop your knees to the left. There you go. And you can look to the right if you'd like. It's really twisting everything up here, so breathe extra deep. Some detoxifying. And go ahead and unwind. Lay your legs long. You can spread out if you'd like. You can have them wide, even wider than your mat. Let your feet flop open. Hands towards the sky. Roll your shoulder blades onto your back one last time as if you're creating a shell for your heart. Kind of do a quick scan of your body and feel the rhythms, and the pulses, and the prana you've created. Maybe there's heat or maybe there's vibration. Maybe your belly's grumbling. <laughs> Just do a quick check in. your day goes today, you've started it right. My day is always completely different whenever I'm able to put a little time aside for myself to check in and to give some gratitude to my body. Everything just moves so much more fluid. fluid. <laughs> Always try to create some space for yourself. And slowly, and start to roll to your right side. So maybe you bring your legs up first. Wherever you'd like to get there. And cradle your head. And take one breath here. And place your left palm on the ground. And use the strength of your arm to push you up. And come around into seated. And you can place your hands on your knees. You can have them facing down for some grounding, or you could place your palms up if you're in a gesture of receiving, if you're looking for some more energy for the day. And take a round of breath here. And let it out. And hands to heart center. And thank you all so much for taking some time today and practicing with us. I'm glad to have a dear friend Jen Hillman with me here today. Thank you all for practicing with us. Namaste. Think about visualizing that. Your shoulder blades coming together onto your back, chin up, sternum going towards the ceiling here. Exhale, we're gonna round, so bring your elbows together, tuck your chin as you start to curl your back. 
This should light up the muscles going on either side of your spine here. So you can control the intensity. So if you need to come, not go as far, this can be intense. Inhale.